Okay, we updated the website's homepage to offer more information about the other avenues to enroll in affordable health care until the online option works for everybody. So you'll find information about how to talk to a specialist who can help you apply over the phone. That was President Obama on Monday urging people who were trying to sign up for Obamacare and couldn't get online to call the hotline. Well, on my radio program, we took the president, we took his advice, we called the number that he gave out, and a very nice, very pleasant woman named Earlene Davis picked up and answered every question we had, was very patient. Here's part of that conversation. Hello? Welcome to Health Insurance Marketplace Call Center. My name is Earlene Davis. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. Is it Marilyn? You're on the radio. You're on with Sean Hannity on the Sean Hannity radio. Is Eileen, is it? Hello? Eileen, no, sir. We're the, on the health care marketplace call center. Yeah, that's, a, that's who I wanted to call, but I want to make sure you're on the radio. Is that okay with you? you? You have to say yes if you want to be on. It's okay, yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Now, I didn't hear your first name. What's your first name? My name is Erling. All right, however, the very next day, Erling was fired. And she joins me now to explain why. Erlene, thank you so much for being with us. I, I appreciate you coming. Yes, sir. All right, so you were, by the way, you were kind, you were patient, you were helpful, you answered every question. Wasn't that what your job was, to, to answer the questions the president gave out the number? Yes, sir, that was. Okay, did they ever tell you you can't answer questions on a radio show? Was that ever part of your training? Um, no, sir. I, I never knew about that. Yeah. Okay, so you took my call. You answered all our questions, which I think was actually a benefit because we have a big radio audience. We're on over 500 stations, and, and so that would result in fewer people calling. Um, but the next day, what happened? They fired me. Tell us, walk us through what happened. You come into work, and what happened? Um, I, got, I got escorted to HR, which is Human Resources, and it was... Four of us, including myself, in the office, and they locked both the doors, and they waited um, until they they had me on speakerphone with one of the head ladies, and then they got in con they finally got in contact with her, and then I could barely understand what she was saying, but I did hear she said we can't have that type of stuff at the job, and that we have to release you, and that's when I um, put my badge down on the desk. Wow. Then what happened? Did you get escorted out? Yes, sir, I got it escorted out, but before I got it escorted out, they got my stuff out my locker. And you, they didn't even let you go back to your own locker? No, sir, they did not let me go to wow. my locker. Now, how, how long did, had you worked there, early? Um, I was worked there almost five weeks. Okay, so this was a new job for you, um, and you went through the training program. They never said you couldn't do this, and you were answering all the questions, right? Um, I'm not really yes, sure sir. why they did this. Um, now, I, I, you were on my radio show today, and I feel terrible about this for you. Um, yes, and sir. you live in, I can say you live in Panama City. That's okay, right? Yes, sir. That's fine. All right. And um, so what we're doing, we actually, the response today, after we gave out, we set up a special site, um, um, email on my website, jobs at Hannity.com. It's been overwhelming, yes, and we're going to send all of these emails to you, and people want to send you stuff, okay. and people are, are stepping up. We, we already have one job offer that we know of for you. We're going to pass it all on to you okay. as quickly as we can. Um, okay. What is your reaction to people wanting to help you this way? Um, I wasn't really expecting much of anything, but it's a blessing from God, so I'm really happy. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I'm happy. And, and just for people that didn't listen to the radio show, we calculated what your yearly income would be, and, and I'm going to gift money to both you and your son and, and give you a year's salary so that you don't have to worry in this interim while you're waiting for a job. Is that, I hope that makes you happy, too. Yes, sir, it does. Thank you so much. Okay. In all, uh, did you learn anything from this? Are you surprised that Kathleen Sebelius still has her job and, and <laughs> you got fired for doing yours? Yes, sir. Yeah, a little surprising. Well, you were very, I want to say this. Surprising. You know, I've, over the years I've had frustrating people on, but when you make phone calls, but you were probably one of the nice, you were one of the nicest, kindest, most helpful people. And uh, we're going to make this right for you. And uh, we really appreciate you telling your story. You did not deserve this to happen to you. So we're going to help you out. Thank you so much. All right, Arlene. Thank you very much. And we'll be in touch, okay? Coming up next.